Did you know? Earlier today, I posted something of a riddle to the Archaeosoup Facebook page, namely, why is a watering can like a Roman helmet? This seems to have got some of you thinking, but no one has yet come up with the answer. Well, my answer, at least. For the most part, when we think of Roman helmets, we tend to think of these bombastic, impressive, iconic helmets. But I'm thinking of this. This is the Derna Late Roman Cavalry Helmet, dating to the 3rd century AD. It's not precisely what we think of when we think of Roman helmets, but it is important. You see, it is believed that this design was borrowed from native tribes the Romans bumped into in northern Europe. They made use of it because it was a good design for cavalrymen, reinforced at the top of the head in case you fell off, and also affording an excellent view around and about. Indeed, it was such a good design that the Saxons made use of it. This is the Coppergate or York Helmet, an Anglian helmet found during the Coppergate excavations in York. Towards the end of the Roman Empire, Saxon mercenaries were frequently recruited into Roman cavalry units. This design was undoubtedly passed on at this time. While some think that the Roman example would have been relatively common, the Saxon helmet was reserved for the wealthy, probably even a king. Now, I don't know about you, but this reminds me very much of watering cans. No, not because I think watering cans are useful in battle. They certainly wouldn't offer much head protection. But rather because the design of the watering can is a very good one. First recorded in 1692 in the diary of a gardener, Lord Timothy Simon George of Cornwall, the only major design change occurred in 1885, when Michael Deas replaced the top-mounted handle with one at the back. Over the years, people have tried to reinvent the wheel, or the watering can, but to no real avail. This design, for example, I cannot see taking off. No, the watering can is much as it was, and indeed as it ever probably shall be. There's simply an elegance to its design, and while some things may be tweaked to fit in with a modern aesthetic, the essentials remain the same. In other words, whether a watering can or a Roman cavalry helmet, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, there you have it. That, for me at least, is the answer to the riddle, why is a watering can like a Roman helmet? Incidentally, the watering can is such an iconic design that during my research for this video, I came across this. It's a watering can shaped sprinkler. Plug it into a hose and it'll spray your garden. How cool is that?